I'm Drew Kosmoski, and I'm a custom engineer at Queer Market. We're about one month after the conclusion of the 36th America's Cup uh, at Harkin. We're going to be taking a look back at some of the products we've developed and tested for these AC75s. We pretty quickly speculated that travelers are going to be very important for these boats, more so than main sheets or main sheet adjustments, main sheet tension. Um, they, we think that they wanted to keep constant beach tension on the mainsail uh, to keep it powered up and so the main sheet tension would be constant and they were just going to be adjusting the traveler back and forth, up and down, uh, with every wind shift, every puff, every wall. Last time we talked, we were looking at different thermoplastic rollers to improve the longevity of our existing uh, CRX traveler systems. The test boats that the teams were using, we first equipped with hardware originally designed to sail around the world non-stop, and even this hardware was wearing out quicker than it should have on these test wheels. They were burning through bearings way too quickly, so we had to come up with another solution that wasn't thermoplastic. The reality was that it's an America's Cup, so there's a very compressed timeline, and there's not a lot of opportunity for error, so whatever solution we came up with, it basically had to work the first time. When we looked at how we had found improvements in blocks between Black Magic and V-Blocks, we thought maybe we can do the same changes and improvements between a Torlin and aluminum CRX traveler system and go to an all titanium or metallic traveler system. I tried to look for any off-the-shelf components I can, so the rollers that we used in the titanium CRX system were actually the exact same ones found in one of our V-Blocks. And when I say off the shelf, I mean something off the hardware shelf, shelf, not off the hardware shelf. So we come up with a design, we have to figure out the tooling, how to get it made. Uh, bending the titanium track was a whole project in itself. Uh, we finally get some test pieces done so that we can look at it at our test bench here on Harkin and validate, is this an improvement? How much better is it? So after looking at the numbers and after running a long 3.5 kilometer durability test, we were happy with the durability of the car and we saw improvements in efficiency also. That's three tenths of a percent better, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're already at you know, 98% efficiency, any gain is pretty remarkable. So in addition to the Traveler, the Titanium CRX is also used in some other areas of some of the boats, where there's the jib or the alcohol. Uh, we provide a lot of equipment to the boats, whether it's deck hardware or hydraulics or winches, and while I'm not involved as much with the hydraulics or the winches, it is still something Parker provides. Uh, now that the cup's over, we've done some formal debriefs where we've talked about what worked really well in the cup, what areas maybe had room for improvement, and now we're waiting for the next rule to come out so we can see what's next.